Well, hello, Ill Digimon fans. Um, this is gonna be a kind of like different uh, video from me. Uh, I'm usually not, yeah, used to making rant videos, but yesterday something got me so pissed that I had to write something, and I also feel about making a video about this. So this video is uh, for the Pokemon fans and Pokemon Go users that doesn't have any knowledge about Digimon at all. Uh, I just want to state before I start to rant here. I play Pokemon Go, I love the game and I don't have anything against it. The thing I have something against is people that are dragging Digimon once again into a new discussion and making fun of it because Pokemon had a new game again and where's your game? So I had this picture on my newsfeed yesterday. Um, Usually I rise above this because I don't usually care what people think because I know what Digimon is about, so yeah. But sometimes something hits a nerve and you get pissed. And yesterday I got pissed. So I'm in this Pokemon Go group because like I said I play Pokemon Go. Uh, so I want to see what all other people are experiencing about this game. So this one person actually posts a picture that says Pokemon Go. Shout out to the people that grew up thinking Digimon was better than Pokemon. Just curious. When's the release date for Digimon Go? So, uh, not that big of a like, text to like attack someone with, but it struck a nerve and I got pissed. It also ends with hashtag, that's what I thought, like, yeah, I put you in place. So, first of all, I'm so sick of explaining this to people that does not have any knowledge about Digimon and only know the name and, yeah, takes everything from there. It's a ripoff of Pokemon, usually it's the, yeah. Uh, thoughts about that name. So this video will not be to the Digimon fans because we know what Digimon stands for. This will be a video for the Pokemon fans that think they know Digimon but doesn't really have a clue. So first of all, Digimon and Pokemon are not at all similar. Other than the name or the fact that they are using monsters in the anime. Which is not rare because that's the most common thing to do in Japanese anime. There are creatures in them, it's nothing new. So other than the name and the monsters, they don't have anything in common. So let's take a look at Pokemon here. Uh, I'm gonna rip Pokemon apart now because I'm so sick of Pokemon fans thinking that Pokemon is so special. Let's take a look at Pokemon here. What has Ash accomplished from all the 14 or 15 or 16 seasons or whatever? I'm not sure what they're on anymore because I jumped off Pokemon the anime several years ago. Like, Pokemon doesn't have a main story, it has episode based story. It has a goal in the background but the episodes are the stories that we see. So. The main plot is for Ash to capture them all and become the very best and where has Ash come today? He hasn't won a single thing. The last time I checked he hasn't even won a league yet. So what have we gotten from that series? From all those years? Well, we've had small stories and new Pokemon to look at, but what is the story accomplishments? What have Ash actually accomplished other than not growing up? He hasn't aged one day. Pokemon is stuck in a loop. It has small stories and a main plot, but it doesn't go any further. So all in all, Pokemon has not accomplished a single thing throughout all these years. They've been stuck in a loop forever. Other than they tried to refresh the Pokemon concept a few years ago with Mega Evolutions. Well, where have we heard that before, Digimon fans? Yeah, I'm wondering. So all in all, Pokemon hasn't grown at all. It has been stuck since 1998 on the same story concept and Ash is not a single meter ahead of himself from when it was back then. It's in the exact same place only with new Pokemon. So when the same Pokemon fan on this picture actually states other than well this could go both ways we could also just say well where did Digimon go? Ha 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 ha. Because clearly he has not been looking at Digimon since back in the 2000s. We all know we have a lot of more seasons since back then. Uh, so people are thinking well Pokemon is just pushing the episodes out there. They're constant all the time. Uh, why isn't Digimon? so constant. First of all, it takes time to create a good story. When you actually have a story, you have to think about the story before actually making the anime. Uh, and when you have a Pokemon anime that the story is pretty much just about walking around capturing Pokemon, you don't need a story. You can push out the episodes and make small story things as you go, because that's the thing about Pokemon. It's episode based, not 
story based. And Digimon is actually season based and not episode based. It has a plot, it has to follow a plot. So people creating Digimon has to think about this before pushing the episodes out. That's the big difference between Pokemon and Digimon. So for the Pokemon Go users asking, well, ha, we have a Pokemon Go game, where is your Digimon Go game? I'm also gonna set this straight, because 14 or 15 years ago we actually had Digimon Go. We had a Digivice, toy Digivice you strapped on your belt, you had to walk outside and you had to meet evil Digimon and evil bosses and you have to take them down to move on. You also had to take down evil control spires. And for us to do that we actually had to walk around and play the game. Just like Pokemon Go does. The only thing we didn't have to do is walk around to capture stuff. We got items instead. So we didn't have to go around and look for Pokemon, which I admit is fun to walk around and look for Pokemon. But like I said earlier, it's not the same concept, so the Digimon Go concept for the Pokemon Go concept would never work. So we've had our fun 14 or 15 years ago. So newsflash, we've already played this game, we have completed this game, we have kind of like moved on to try the new Pokemon Go game because that's the new thing now. But to be honest, we've played this game before 14 or 15 years ago. So this is nothing new for us, the only thing that's new is the technology it's on. The game is on a cell phone and we had a Digimon game on a toy. So the biggest difference here is the age and time it is placed out on. Because the time we are living in now are such high tech, of course the game will be on cell phone. If this was out today, the Digimon game, it would most likely also be on a phone. So. I'm not sure why you're making fun of this. We've had our fun with this game. We've completed it. We're done with this game. We had Digimon Go 14 years ago. Welcome to the party, guys. Ah, oh, man, I'm so pissed.